The design of the new Havel H9 is classic, square, solid and retro. The front face features a square air intake grille and retro round headlights. The air intake grille is designed with parallel lines and decorated with rivets, giving it a unique visual effect. The lower part of the front of the vehicle is equipped with a protection plate to protect the front of the vehicle from collisions in complex off-road conditions. As can be seen from the side, the lines of the new Havel H9 are quite straight, especially the waistline extending from the front of the car to the rear lights, directly dividing the vehicle into upper and lower parts. This design style is indeed more in line with the current aesthetic trend. In addition, the vehicle's relatively high ground clearance and the relatively short front and rear overhangs of the vehicle can effectively increase the approach and departure angles when viewed from the side. At the rear of the car, the design of the new generation Havel H9 is relatively simple. The split vertical taillight combination has a more elegant lighting effect when lit. The external spare tire and thick lower frame also further enhance the vehicle's off-road appearance. Rear breather. To be fair, the new generation Havel H9 has some similarities with the Raptor's design, but fortunately the aura of the real car is worth recognizing when compared to the current situation where closed bodies have become a trend. The length of the backpack version of the new car is 5,070mm, the length of the small school bag version is 4,950mm, the width of the car equipped with electric pedals is 1960mm, the width of the fixed side pedals is 1976mm, the wheelbase is 1976mm. The new car is 2,850mm. It is worth noting that the new car has allocated eight modification areas, including a reserved position for the installation of the water hose, a reserved position for the front winch, a hanging luggage rack, a removable central grille, front and rear bumpers, etc. And the new car has a towing capacity of 2.5 tons. There are neat physical buttons under the central control screen. This design is commendable. The layout of the console area is neat, the electronic gear lever has a thick shape, and there are neat physical buttons on both sides to adjust the seat heating. In addition to the off-road oriented design of the mechanical part, the new H9 has also been optimized in terms of PU material covered seats, front and rear ventilation, heating functions, new 14.6 inch machine, and comfort. In terms of power, the new Havel H9 adds the 2.0 T plus 8 at power system, as well as the 2.4 T plus 9 at diesel power combination to meet the needs of diesel enthusiasts. Among them, the maximum power of the gasoline version is 165 kilowatts, and the maximum power of the diesel version is 137 kilowatts. In addition, the car will have three differential locks at the front, middle, and rear, and will be equipped with a second-generation off-road control system. The new Havel H9 is expected to have a starting threshold of around 180,000 yuan.